Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, it is time for story time about a Bolo item, an unexpected Bolo item, something you probably would have just put in the donate bin or thrown away. And I'm going to tell you, I made some money. You ready? All right, so Christmas time, right? Putting away the Christmas tree, putting away the, uh, you know, decorations, something breaks, right? All right. So I used to sell Avon back in the day, and this is a fiber optic Avon tree. It is a porcelain musical fiber optic. So you turn it on and the lights change. Now there's no like things sticking out of it that make it... Um, you know, the fiber optics that you're used to. This is all with inside the tree. And let me see, let me go into this one. And let's take a peek. I don't know if they have one with the light on, but it basically color changes. All right. Right there. So it is absolutely beautiful. It comes in a box like this. I still had the original box. I probably should have tried to fix it, but being the lazy reseller that I am, I did not. Uh, so this is someone else's list, but I just want to show you what these go for. But I'm going to tell you what I did. I'm going to tell you how fa fast it sold and how much money I made. All right. So this one sold for 85. This one sold for 60. Best offer here, 65. You know, you can see kind of the comps on these. Here's one 39.99 different, just some different prices, but let's say an average of 30 to $50 for this porcelain tree. Now, did you notice what is on the tree? Do you see the little ornaments? All right. So one of the little pieces on the bottom of mine broke off. So I was like, hmm, I want to see if I can sell the little replacement bulbs. All right. <laughs> so I pulled them off and I listed them on January 14th and they sold on February 6th for a best offer of $25 plus shipping. Buyer was all in for $33.99. So when I was listing this, I was thinking to myself, do I list them all together? Do I sell the blue? Do I sell the green by themselves? Do I sell the yellow? Do I sell the red by themselves? Is this something that is going to be a list it and forget it? It's going to take forever to sell. Well, I went ahead and I listed these bulbs for $32.50. Actually, I put them at $50 and then ran a 35% off sale. $32.50 was the sale price. Somebody offered me $25. I seriously considered counter offering because I assumed that the person that was looking for these needed them. I did do a search. I couldn't find any others listed at the time. I don't know if there's any listed right now. I didn't search. But yeah, these are the bulbs that go to this porcelain tree right here, which is a bolo in itself. So if you ever find that, definitely pick it up. But just know that if it's broken or the music box doesn't work or the lights don't work, you can sell the bulbs. So let's say you're at a garage sale and you find this tree and they've got five bucks on it. And you're like, well, I don't know if it works. Are you going to take the time to take it out of the box, to test it, to put your batteries in it that you carried in your fanny pack? Okay. I don't really do that, <laughs> but I know people have like fanny packs and different things that where they, a little toolkit that they carry with them. I think primetime treasure hunter has one of those that he takes to estate sales. So if it's five bucks at a garage sale, I'm just going to pick it up because I know that I can sell the ornaments for 25 bucks. So just a little unexpected bolo that I thought might interest some of you. I know all the time I'm telling you guys, oh, my little owl fell if he fell over. Um, I'm telling you guys, sell the replacement parts. People are looking for them. After Christmas is a great time to sell replacement parts, ornaments. Uh, I sold, I want to say three to five things that, right after Christmas that were Christmas items because things get broken. 
baby's first Christmas, um, birthday, or, you know, different uh, anniversary ornaments for different dates from way back, the vintage ones. Yep. I sold a Precious Moments one. I want to say in the $30 range that I had gotten at the bins, I think it was from the 80s and it was right after Christmas. I wasn't this year. I think it was last year. And I thought I would be sitting on it forever, but somebody probably broke it, putting away their tree and was like, oh my goodness, I need a replacement and I need it now. And where do they turn? eBay, of course, you know, we've got the goods. This is also true with plush, stuffed animals. People have stuffed animals that they had as a kid and they want it. They want that same stuffed animal for their child or their child has a vintage stuffed animal that they got at a garage sale and their kid loses it at the airport or when they're on vacation or wherever. Maybe they drop it in the store. Who knows? Their kid loses it. Where are they going to turn to to find that vintage replacement? eBay. And plush and vintage ornaments and things like that can be long tail. They can take a while to sell, but you can price them a little higher because they're harder to find and people are willing to pay up because they have a need for the item. So there's are, those are some little tips. Um, it was cheaper for this person to buy the ornaments from me for 25 than to spend 50 on a new tree or 60, or they may have gotten it for 30. Who knows? Um, but they would have had the shipping. Shipping on something small is much less than something big. So just some little tips and tricks. Replacement parts do sell. Check out some of my other Bolo videos. You guys, I'm also selling on Whatnot. Uh, somebody put in the comments um, something about eBay. It doesn't look like I'm selling as much on eBay. I'm not. You guys, I used to put out a bread and butter video. I mean, I had a video a day. And I don't have as many what sold videos for bread and butter or big money because I'm not selling as much on eBay because I'm not listing as much. And the reason is, is because I'm selling on whatnot also, and I'm going on three days a week and it's very, very time consuming. So I am still listing on eBay and Poshmark and Mercari. I am still a full-time reseller, just kind of uh, spreading out to different areas. I'm trying the whole whatnot thing and I really, really am enjoying it. And I love that you guys are coming over and buying and hanging out in the chat and connecting in the chat with other resellers. It's super fun. Thank you so much. Um, if you guys are not following me on whatnot, come on over. I am Bolo Buddies over there. But if you haven't joined whatnot yet and you'd like to, I have a referral link down in the description and you can get $15 to shop if you use that. So uh, definitely come hang out. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, I do untanglings. So even if you don't want to buy anything and you just kind of want that let's hang out feeling where you're talking in a chat, kind of like YouTube, when somebody goes live and they do an untangling, it's the same thing, but you get to see me sell the items as we go. And I'm just throwing a pile of jewelry down, unsearched, untangled. We look through it together, grab and sell, and it's fun. It's fun. So I hope you guys will join me over on Whatnot. Come hang out. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. What would you have done with this Christmas tree if this happened to you? Thanks for watching.